Edgar Perez uh, joins us. Uh, he's the author of Speed Traders. Welcome. What are your initial thoughts? Where, which which uh, perspective are you coming from? If you take a look at my book, The Speed Traders, what I try to show there is that high frequency is really the application of technology into trading, as there are billions of, of shares traded every day in the New York Stock Exchange or any other exchange. Obviously, you need computers to participate into that. So trading has been experienced the application of technology there, and that's something that will continue. I don't think that's something that's going to stop. Um, is it fair to blame the traders and the computers, though, for the glitches time and time again? Or is it the actual, is it the actual system that needs to change or the regulation that needs to change, Edgar? Well, what I think is that we are definitely focusing on glitches at the moment. But if you look at history, glitches existed forever. Look at 1929, there was already a crash there. And there was Black Monday 20, more than 20 years ago as well. So. These mini crashes, crashes, accidents, trading incidents always happen. I think there's a strong focus right now on these type of incidents, thanks to Night Capital, thanks to the flash crash. But the computers actually are not part of the reason. And most people will agree that indeed there's a human component behind those items, maybe some fear in the markets that lead to these incidents, people running away through the door at the same time, but not produced exactly for computers. Do you think that, that high frequency trading kills liquidity? I wouldn't say that. Uh, let me take on the following point that you mentioned a few minutes ago about at uh, these incidents. It's not only computers that are the reason of these issues. If you look at the incident of Night Capital, for instance, we talk about that that happened August last year. It, it was actually a human error in the installation of a software piece. So it wasn't really a technology issue there or a trading mistake there. It was something that was a human and that type of incident always happened in the past and will continue happening there. I think regulation has to play an important role. Regulation play a role in developing high frequency trading by allowing competition, allowing new exchanges to participate, new players to enter into the markets, to technology to play a bigger role there. And I think that's what needs to continue. In the same way the regulation plays a role in creating these new developments, regulation will also need to be used in monitoring these trades, creating these skill switches, so we're able to stop incidents from happening again. Thank you very much, Edgar Perez, author of Speed Traders.